I think is, there's need for Africans to come together and make that work. And it's, brother, leave all those things. Africa, we are one. Then we can start to face the world. I am this, yeah, that I mean, tribalism. That's... Only way it can work is everybody comes together. Yeah. Because when we came into to film, with uh, Lil Wayne was like, why would he bring Nigerians to come and tell the Ghana story? Like, in my head, I'm thinking like, what kind of question is that? <laughs> you guys have been shooting all by yourself yeah. all this while. Is it because of his personality or his status of being a Lil Wayne? I'm like, guys, stop all of this. <laughs> all right, we are still on the set, uh, a movie, a country called Ghana, movie set, and I told you, the Nollywood actors are still here, they are doing their best. And I can't wait to watch this particular movie, especially uh, to see Ramsey Noah. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, yeah, I've been watching you f way back when I was in school. You are still you are still young. Is that so? Yeah. yeah. Look closely. Oh, no. Uh, you, you've, not changed, you've not changed so <laughs> thank much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, you have a lot of girlfriends here in Ghana. <laughs> Do you know about that? <laughs> why, why that makes me laugh so much is because... Why girlfriends? Why not even like, okay, um, you have lots of fans, you know, both male and female. Yeah. Why specifically girlfriends? They are, they are not just fans, though. You've, you've, not, you've not met them yet. How come you know them? Where I, you know I'm them a from? Ghanian, hey. And we watch your movies with them. And, and, and they, they say what? Say, hey, Ramsey you know what? He's uh -huh. a nice guy. Yeah. I love this guy. And that's it. I, especially when, you, when your girlfriend praises you on TV. <laughs> You get angry, yeah. yes. I, I know that thing, I know. Even my wife does the same thing. Oh, okay. She plays some Hollywood actors. <laughs> like, you know how that one feels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it'll be like, it'll be like <laughs> she's like, oh, uh, we're probably watching a movie together. And we're probably, let's just assume that we're eating popcorn. Mm -hmm. And then she goes, oh my God, Keanu Reeves, I love him so much. <laughs> and then I won't say anything. After a while, oh, maybe the popcorn has finished. You say, honey, can you help me get, get some popcorn? I say, send your TV <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> To go and, to go and bring you popcorn for you. <laughs> oh, it, 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 that shows that you, you are a very good actor, how you handle your movies, especially the romantic roles. Ramsey. Uh, yeah, back in the days. Yeah. Mm. When you are with um, Ini Edo, uh, Genevieve Energy, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, those girls, mm -hmm. how you handle them in, in, in your movies, it, it, it seems real. The way you how do you do that? I don't know, it's just performance. I think it's just the way you deliver the, the act. You try to be, make it. Um, Make it as real as possible as an actor. You have to try and bring out the reality of the acting side so it doesn't look act like you're, it's been acted. Yeah. You have to make it look yeah. as real as possible. Mm -hmm. So in my um, career, my span of my years in the industry, I've told myself that I have to try by all means to make my performance as real, as authentic okay. as possible, yeah. you know. Yeah. I think that's what... Um, is what I've imbibed in my um, career so far that yeah. has probably stood the test of time. Mm, mm, mm. This movie, uh, Guardian Angel, mm -hmm. wow! Everybody. That movie, mm -hmm. that, with that small boy, yeah. we watched that movie part one, and the next day people are rushing to go and search it's for the part, part two, the next yeah, part. Yeah. That movie. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the, the director and the producer passed on a couple of years back. And, um, but so far, it's been something a shot way back in the mid 2000s. Mm -hmm. So it's quite an old one. But, yeah. I, but it's, it's a good thing that it still resonates even till now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that people like it. Yeah. I, I'm really happy. I'm happy that they love it. Yeah. Yeah. That movie, it, it was shown on TV. Mm. And the next day, people are rushing to go and buy the CD mm. to, to watch that particular movie. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about Kujun Kansa Lawrence project. Mm -hmm. The first day you received that call yeah. that you were coming to Kumasi to shoot that movie, mm -hmm. uh, di how did you picture that, that, that producer called Kujun Kansal Lewin? In all fairness to Lewin, I didn't know about him. Oh, okay. I did not know about You've him. You've not watched any of his movies no, in Nigeria no, no, before? No, no, never. Wow. Um, and it's not because, it's just that I'm a bit slow on watching some of this. Um, kind of movies, you know. Mm -hmm. I like a situation where uh, I'm not a comedy person. Oh, okay. I'm not into comedy as such. Okay. I am more of very intent, you know, um, production and, you know, um, drama and stuff like that. So, with that said, I didn't know oh, okay. until I came to Ghana. Mm -hmm. Though when we started talking over the phone, 
I googled him and I realized how big this yeah, guy is. I'm like, oh my god, yeah. this guy is like a big star yeah. here. I'm like, that's great, that's awesome, you know. And we came down and you know we got talking and I realized he's a very humble guy, like you know, very easygoing personality. No, no excesses, no extras. Yeah. And that was quite endearing. Yeah. And ever since we've been here, it's been like, you know, um, he didn't let us miss home that much. Okay. You know, he made okay. it seem like, even though we were filming here in like some distant part of um, Kumasi. Kumasi yeah. and, but even at that, we're not, yeah, okay. we're not like, oh, we're homesick, oh, oh, you know. He tries to give us the balance of Nigerian food and Ghana, Ghana food okay. very completely. So it's been so easy, easy and smooth with him. Yeah. And, and I, 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 I kind of like grew up to like him and appreciate him more, okay. you know. Okay. And yeah, it's a good thing that I, I actually embarked on it. I am I'm glad that I'm part of the project, you know, and um, I look forward to more prospective jobs with, with him. Yeah. We heard that you, 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 are, you are the one forwarding this movie to Netflix. That's what I heard. How, how okay. is it? Um, not necessarily um, true. We worked on it in so many ways where we can see how we can facilitate that. Okay. It's not my call. I told them already. They are, they are aggregators that work for Netflix. Okay. And these aggregators, um, I can connect them to the aggregators. Wow. And then the aggregators will be the determining factor to say, oh, it's um, Netflix viable or Netflix, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's what we agreed upon, you know. But it's not me. I, I'm not going to do it. I don't do it direct. I'm not an aggregator for Netflix. Okay. So I don't do it direct, um, straight up to, to Netflix, Netflix. kind of like connect, so yeah. connection. No, yeah. it's not mine. Because there are standards. There are basic protocols that needs to be followed suit mm -hmm. before that is obtainable, you know. If this movie is, is done, do you think the standard can reach that level, the Netflix level? Comparing uh, the, how directions are going, how the story itself is. I have explained to them technically some of the um, shortcomings, you know, but as within, that's in-house. It's okay. not something I can disclose, disclose right now, or, you know, for, to the media. Okay. There are so many things that we can probably fine tune as we go. Mm -hmm. So if I say anything now and it contradicts whatever it is we're going to do tomorrow, okay. then it won't work. Yeah. So let's not go and be jumping ahead of a time or jumping the gun. Okay. Let's just stay put and find out what happens afterwards mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. fingers crossed okay okay mm -hmm. you see um you nigerians uh, we, we call the nollywood uh, industry you yeah. keep growing yeah but as compared to ghana yeah we are striving mm -hmm. i asked uh, charles about this, this same question yeah what are you nigerians doing that we are not doing because as as, as compared to our movie industry now mm -hmm. to then mm -hmm. it's not the same yeah. There are a lot of actors in Ghana actually say they are no more active. Yeah. Because they are saying that the industry is not relevant anymore here in Ghana. But you Nigeria, you watch you're watching movies from Nigeria, powerful, powerful movies. What are you guys doing right? Okay. Um patronage I, I believe. In my own opinion, I think like Nigerians patronize their movies a lot. Mm -hmm. Their skits, their films, everything, they work they work on it. Um, Funke Akideli, for instance now. She has a huge pattern, it's even in cinemas, like she broke the box office like a couple of times, wow, you know. Okay. Yeah, wow. you know, and, and that's, that's some great feats, you know, to achieve. Mm -hmm. So basically, I think first things first. I think Ghanaians need to first start to appreciate what they, they, has, they own, mm -hmm. right? There's a first things first. Mm -hmm. Second is, uh, no man is an island. Like when we go about always trying to blast them, um, what are we doing about uh, Nigerian brothers, or why are Nigerian brothers here, or why is Ghana there, or what is Ghana doing in this place and doing? I think, I think in this generation we've, we've outgrown all of those things. Yeah. I think it's for maybe back in our days when we were very, we have fathers and daddies and uncles that were very traditional. Yeah. But in this generation, I'm wondering, what are you guys doing? You can't be like that. It's yeah. not possible. Yeah. Yeah. Because the truth about it is like, like I mentioned earlier, no man is an island. Mm -hmm. Why are we trying to say we don't need each other? you know, to grow, or we don't need each other, you know, to make it better. Disregard all those things that who's stopping the charts. Okay, yeah. Let's put aside the competitions, you know. Let's talk about the coexistence. Mm -hmm. And the coexistence has to do with both business, relationship, brotherhood, and all, every other thing. Mm -hmm. Let's start to look into those things a bit more. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, competition is healthy. Once it's healthy, competition is good. But so far, it hasn't been healthy. Okay. 
So it's not good. Mm -hmm. One thing I like though, I'm very, very happy with the, especially with AFCON. Mm -hmm. AFCON brought about like a break and a make, you know, mm -hmm. you know like, okay, uh, Niger and Ghana. Yeah. So Ghana saw their own internal issues with their mm -hmm. players. Yes, they were yeah. very upset yeah. with the players. They yeah. were angry. They were cursing themselves out. Mm -hmm. They were already cursing themselves out, you know. So it's good. And afterwards, so basically, Next thing, Ghana. Um, they were asking, who, 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 who would you want to win? Um, Nigeria or... Nigeria, Ghana. No, 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 no. After Ghana lost. And then it was now Nigeria and... Um, Talking about the recent one. Yes, the Afghan. It was Nigeria, the last one that they lost. They played with... Uh, Steven Nigeria, no boy, or Malusia. Uh, the Ivicos. Ivicos. Cote d'Ivoire. Was it Cote d'Ivoire? Or was it... I, I don't know which was next. Oh, the, the finals, no? Yes, the finals. Yeah. Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. So... Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to remember where they were just. It was sampling. Okay. okay. Niger or Cote d'Ivoire. Niger or Cote d'Ivoire. And it was like Niger, Niger. Yeah. Even Ghana was like Niger, yeah. Niger, Niger. Yeah. Okay. Now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, no hard feelings whatsoever. Yeah. No hard feelings, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I because I still our brothers. Yeah. It's not as if there was anything. Okay. But for some reason, people love Niger. Yeah. And why so? Mm -hmm. You think it's because of the football team? No. No, there's more there's, to there's it, right? To yeah. Fine. Now, one of the drawing factor, compelling factor why a lot of people like Niger mm -hmm. is because of the Niger flavor. Yeah. And what's the Niger flavor? The media. The media. Our skits, mm -hmm. our films, mm -hmm. our music. The music. A whole lot of people have bought into it because they love it. Yeah. Yeah. So for some reason, they have affinity with them. Now, Avicos, I don't think too many people know about Avicos' mm, music, we don't know skits, more, yeah. or whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I get so, you. so there's sort of like, there's a fine front yeah. to make you want to like the Nigerian Nigeria. people. Yeah. Yeah. And that was created by citizens of Nigeria, not mm -hmm. even the government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So the point is that I say, I share with you now is like, what effort are you making mm -hmm. to also make that happen? Because it's You're not... talking about Ghana. Yeah, with Ghana now. Okay. What effort are we making? Yeah, to, to be in that same that, space. Yeah. You, I'm getting your point now. Exactly. We, we, when we go on football match, we, mm -hmm. we support ourselves. But mm -hmm. when we lose, we support Nigerians. Yes. And we love Nigeria. Ghanaians and Nigerians, we have this thing. In fact, competition. In fact, I think, um, in fairness, I think when you think about Africa, I think Nigeria and Ghana are the most yeah. closest yeah. Um, yeah. brothers. Yeah than any other nation yeah, in, yeah. in the whole of Africa yeah. that I can see yeah. on the conflict without a doubt. I don't know, maybe because of the proximity. Well, we can't say the proximity. Mm -hmm. um, um, because of the Nigeria and Ghana, Ghana, Ghana are pretty very close. Yeah. Flight distance, no. Togo is closer, but I think maybe because Togo is French. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's maybe why... The language barrier. Maybe. Yeah. But otherwise, Ghana is the closest brother you to can Nigeria. think about to yeah. Nigeria yeah. or Nigeria to Ghana. Yeah. So... That is the, that's the look into it. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is like, what is Ghana people doing? That is the issue. To make their media strong, mm -hmm. to make them, to make, because the truth about it, that's what Hollywood did. Mm -hmm. Hollywood, what they built in Hollywood is not superpower military weapons. Mm -hmm. They built on news and entertainment. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they created Hollywood and then they created news. Yeah. And that was the strongest drawing factor for them. They pushed that agenda and that made them superpowers. And it really worked for them too. Yeah. yeah. So that's the point you're supposed to be looking at wow. now, you know? Wow. And then, for all I know, in my own opinion, I think it's, there's need for Africans to come together and make that work. And it doesn't require everybody being independent or say, oh, I'm Ghanaian, oh, I'm Rwandese, yeah. oh, I'm yeah. South African, you know, I'm Ugandan. Brother, leave all those things. Africa, we are one. And I think the sooner we start to register that in our hearts, mm -hmm. then we can start to face the world. Mm -hmm. But if we start keep doing, oh, this, uh, I am this, yeah, that I'm tribalism, right. yeah. this is where I come from, this is what I stand for. Mm -hmm. And you forget the fact that you're still black skin and you're still an African. Well, sad. I'm sorry that that even work. Because the only way it can work is everybody comes together. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my opinion. So yeah. if we shed away all the bad blood and because when we came into to film, the first thing we got bombarded with uh, Lil Wayne was like, why would he bring Nigerians to come and tell the Ghana story? Mm -hmm. I'm like, 
in my head, I'm thinking like, what kind of question is that? <laughs> you guys have been shooting all by yourself yeah. all this while. Mm -hmm. Why is one particular title different? Is it because of his personality or his status or being a Lil Wayne? I'm like, guys, stop all of this. Because you're not going anywhere with that kind of remark. Mm -hmm. yeah. You never will grow. The guy just saw the business angle of things and he decided to like do what you call partnership or co-production thingy. He, he'll get into the market there and then when he becomes big tomorrow, everybody's now tagging along. But in the beginning, you drag him down. It's like crab in the bucket. Yeah. Yeah. A crab is trying to go out and the other ones are pulling him back down. Wow. We need to start to grow and start to think further, bigger. Especially this generation. All this, uh, I am this, I am that. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm Nigerian, but I'm also African. Come and do it, my friend. In fact, I was saying it from a distance. Show him, show him. Show him, show him. He's running away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving your conversation. Yeah. So the sooner we actually come together and then look at ourselves at not just individually, like, okay, I'm Ghanaian, yeah. I'm African. Yeah. If you're an African, you're an African brother. Yeah. And that's what, you, what I stand for. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, we get it. Live Niger, live South Africa, live whatever, live, live everybody. Yeah, Are you an African? I'm happy to meet you, brother. And that's all that's that matters so. to me. And until we start to have that mindset, that we will never go further than yeah. where we are. Ramsey, uh, I think uh, the darkness is approaching. I want to mm -hmm. ask you this question. How is the Nigerian government supporting the Nollywood uh, uh, industry? Oh, they, they tend to push um, um, all agendas to make sure that it thrives. Okay. And... Um, yeah. I mean, we have our, don't get me wrong, we, like every other society, we have our ups and downs, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, but there's been a lot of strate strategic um, um, positioning for the government for us in, in some ways. Mm -hmm. uh, not all that in totality, but there's a new dispensation right now in government, and they're looking at expanding that. And they have, you know, committed with words we're waiting for the execution of those commitments. Ooh, okay. So I really can't say for now okay. what the new dispensation is going to give in total. But they have commented in words saying that they would help the industry grow in so many ways. So we're, we're, we're waiting for that to happen. Okay. So they don't, don't think that is, is smooth there. Okay. But however, it's important that the government gives an enabling environment for, for the, the entertainment industry. to thrive. Yeah. You know, yeah. not not stifling it or, or you know, there's need for it to grow because entertainment is how you project who you are, what you are, what you stand for, your beliefs and your um, your culture. Yeah, and that's the way you project it. Yeah, it's true media. You know, it's not just going to say tourism. Mm -hmm. You put some people who know how to say aquaba, wear the yeah, costumes, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. You need to show people how it's done in filmmaking. Mm -hmm. You know, the beauty of it all, the food, how it's eaten, and how all of that is impacted into the daily living in Ghana. Yeah. It's the same thing in Nigeria. Yeah. All right, uh, we are on set and we are talking to Ramsey Noah, the handsome Ramsey Noah. They refuse to grow. Ramsey Noah. <laughs> Thank Ramsey, you, bro. Uh, what are you telling people about this particular movie, A Country Called Ghana? Tell them something for them to f fall in love with that particular movie. No, no, I don't do that. I really don't push okay. um, marketing for a movie that's not yet out. Oh, okay. um, all I say is, I mean, they, they, they watch out for it. I think um, there is already, um, you know, there is already, you know, media team pushing that agenda. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not the one for that. Okay. I am the one for saying I'm part of the movie. Okay. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's automatic that you watch it. Mm -hmm. No. Um, we are all part of it. Lin Wein is part of it. Mm -hmm. It's just a message. It is, the story is like a satire. You know, you're talking about yeah. um, uh, political issues that's probably befallen the African mind over the years and it's still there. It's still very much pending. Yeah. And it has not changed. So we're telling those things, even though jokingly, but you know, there's truth in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's a bit more of it. That, the content is more of a reason why I feel like you should watch it. Yeah. You know, forget the slapsticks mm -hmm. and all of those things. Let's look at the message because it's very important. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I actually embarked on this journey because it was meant to talk about how we sell ourselves out, yeah. how we become very greedy, the black man, mm -hmm. how we want to just oppress the other black man, mm -hmm. how we do that to ourselves, you know. And the sooner we outgrow those mentality, the only way we can make things better, not just for us, but for our generation to come. All right, uh, this 
is where we end our conversation for today. Yeah. Thank you very much for Ramsey. Thank you for having me. Polino Multimedia, and I've really enjoyed your conversation. I'm glad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Guys, mm -hmm. are you going to cut the camera now? No, cut it. <laughs> <laughs>